Hi guys, today in this video we are going to determine the hybridization for xenon difluoride. It has a chemical formula of XeF2 and it is made up of one xenon atom and two fluorine atoms. To determine its hybridization, we will first look at its Lewis structure. So here is a Lewis structure of xenon difluoride in which it is forming a single bond with both these fluorine atoms and there are three lone pairs of electrons. So as you can see here, for accommodating five pairs of electrons, it needs to have five hybrid orbitals. So xenon has the electron configuration of 5s2, 5p6 in its ground state. But because it has to form five hybrid orbitals and it is in its excited state, the electrons from 5p orbital will move to a 5d orbital and the electron configuration will be 5s2, 5p3 and 5d1 um, uh, orbitals and as there are five orbitals formed here the hybridization will be sp3d for xenon in xenon difluoride specifically you can also confirm it by seeing the steric number of xenon for this molecule and look at look at this table in which it says that if a molecule has five as its steric number it will have the hybridization of sp3d so the hybridization for xenon for xenon difluoride is sp3d this hybridization of xenon will change um, if the number of elect if the number of atoms is more like it also forms bonds with four fluorine atoms so the hybridization will also change depending upon the number of atoms it is forming bonds with and the number of uh, electron pairs it has to accommodate for more videos on molecular geometry lewis structure polarity and hybridization of the molecules subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching